name is Steve Foreman. I'm a fine artist. I do paintings, as you can see behind me. I have a painting, and this painting is a 24 by 36 inch painting. And uh, what I like to do is to show you how you would get a painting like this to be shipped. This is a commission painting, and I'm going to ship it to the client. Um, it is in another state, so I'm going to show you how you would box it and ship it properly to your client. Okay, the first thing, okay, again, this is 24 inches by 36 inches by about an inch and a half deep. Now, the first thing you probably want to have, which you should have, what I do is I like to get the uh, these corners like this. Now, I got mine from U-Haul. You could probably get these from somewhere else, but these are styrofoam corners, which the corners of the painting go into each individual uh, wedge here. So that's what I start now. I put down some brown paper first, just to protect, just to make sure I don't get any damages done to the painting, because I've done all this work to get painting. Okay, the next supplies you're gonna need is some shipping tape. You're gonna need probably a pair of scissors, and you're gonna need some bubble wrap. And I just cut off these little pieces of other uh, packages that I've ordered, you know, on internet, and sometimes they come with styrofoam. I just cut them into these little pieces like this, these little rectangular pieces where I can, if I have space in my box, I can keep my, my piece from moving by using these little styrofoam wedges. I use the bubble wrap and I use some, also I use cardboard. I save cardboard so that I can just have another layer other than the box. Here's my box here, so I have another layer other than the box to protect the painting. Just in case, you know, you want to put handle with care on there, picture, but just in case you have an issue where something comes through, you have not just the outer box layer, but you have another cardboard layer, and then you have a, some bubble wrap, and then you maybe even have some brown paper as well to help protect your painting. So without too much further ado, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. First, what I do is I put down my brown paper, and I kind of arrange my corners like this. Now, the great thing about these little U-Haul wedges, they come with this little strap here, and it has a little clamp on that side, so uh, that's great. That makes it handy to keep the wedges in place. So what you want to do is I'm going to dismount my painting off of my easel and I'm going to take my painting and I'm going to kind of sit it into the wedge. Immediately I want to put it into the wedge. I, and I try to work with my painting front side up just so I can just be uh, attentive to the actual picture side of the painting. And then I just put these wedges right in the corner. Of course, I have these wedges already pre-arranged so that I don't have to do a whole lot of moving around of the painting once it's on the surface here. And I put one of these, sty I put the styrofoams in like this. So I have one on each corner. Then what I do is I simply thread this cable, this little plastic, it's not a cable, it's kind of like a cord, a flat cord. In these little grooves, it's in these wedges that comes with the U-Haul. Uh, and you have to order that separate. You order your box, and then what you do is you also will want to order your wedges. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread this through. Now, what you want to do with this is thread it through. Then you want to bring it back into this little loop. You want to kind of create a little loop-de-loop -loop here, you know, with this. So you thread it through, and the instructions are on the box. So it's pretty much straightforward in terms of how you would go about uh, attaching this, uh, I mean, uh, you know, pulling this little cable nice and taut. And you want to make sure it's flipped the right way, of course. So that's what I'm going to do, make sure I don't have any kinks and it's flipped all in a consistent manner. Okay, and then you just pull this, try to take as much slack out as you can. You want to pull this as taut as you can get it. Because the idea is that you don't want these wedges to come back loose. So you want to get as much slack out of this as you can by simply feeding some of the, uh, pulling it nice and tight and feeding the cable through. So you can get a little piece of tape like this, 
and you pull it nice and tight and you just tape it so it doesn't move at all. So that kind of reinforces, that reinforces this little piece here. Just have a staple, stapler. Again, you can just fold it over itself and wherever the slack is, take the slack up, you fold it over itself and you staple it. So that's another real easy way. Sometimes two or three staples is best. Okay, that's another real easy way to keep it nice and tight like that. Add just a little bit more protection to the painting in terms of, uh, you know, not having something come through and puncture the business side of the painting. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is just take this end down, and what I have is I have the paper underneath. And I kind of have the paper already taped to a wedge, and I just taped that down. So I had a paper on the back and the cardboard on the front. It's going to give me a nice little uh, shell, you know, for, uh, and also since it, it can get a nice grip if you have paper to cardboard, because this tape sticks really, really good to cardboard. It's actually designed to stick to cardboard, and I'm going to connect this cardboard with the styrofoam with the paper underneath. About four inches on the top. Let it go down. This thing is about four inches deep. You probably want you know, nine to 12 inches. Okay, so now you have a nice little uh, barrier there. Just put a little bubble wrap underneath here. Just, to, just so if this pushes in, it has something to push it in other than getting through to the painting and just kind of going in and getting into that. So just put a little bubble wrap in there. That'll secure that some. And, uh, and this is the most important side to have bubble wrap. And we're going to add some more bubble wrap later, but this is pretty good. So this gives me a nice, a nice fluffy little bubble wrap layer. There we go. So now, once we have this nice, okay, then we can actually go to our box. So we're gonna go to our box. And of course, one of the box has this, one side of the box has these lips. So we're gonna fold these lips over like this. Seal one side of the box down. So I'm just gonna go in and flat it down really good. Side. And it's good to have the 37 inches because when you add this extra three inches, you're actually adding six more inches to when you're two to four. So you actually have about 30, uh, what's that, 31 inches. Because you're adding six more inches to your 24 inch, actually you have 30 inches. So you're adding six more inches to your 24 inch dimension. So now once you get this, you want to pull, push this all the way in until those corners are right there in the corner. Now. What you're gonna have is, because this is a 37 inch, and they might have one slightly smaller, but I just wanted to be sure when I order these boxes, just to, just to make sure that, I have, that everything's gonna fit. Okay, so that's in. I do not want the painting moving in this direction. So what I do to make sure that doesn't happen, I just get this little piece of styrofoam, get a piece of styrofoam, and hopefully this styrofoam is not too tall. If it is, what I do is just simply stack them, you know, break them down. In other words, you could just break them off or you could just use a saw. I used a saw earlier on this. Break them off so that they'll fit. Okay, and then that's gonna keep this painting from moving this way. Really, you don't need but one in here to keep it from moving because as long as it's toward the center of the painting, you're, you're fine. Okay, so then the same thing on this side. Now, if this one is a little bit, you know, you want to move this to the center. Again, so your, so your painting does not be moving in the box as it's in transit. Now, if you want to, you can push it a little bit further in and put another one in. There we go. Got that one in. So now that's going to keep this thing from moving. This thing is really not going to move much at all. And I'm going to use my straight edge 
I'll go alongside this little fold here, and then I'm just gonna break it alongside of that. Now this might put a few pellets in your painting, but what's gonna happen is that the, the client can easily just brush that off with a little, little brush or a dust rag when they get it. The main thing is you want it not to bang against the side of the box in shipping. Now, once you have this in and you have this, so this is not gonna move to and fro this way, you're in pretty good shape. Now, what I do is, because this is, I know this is the top, and I know that I put the bubble wrap in here, I do want a little bubble wrap towards the bottom, some tube, in case something comes through there, but we got a double box. What, what I'm gonna do is just make sure, just a little buffer here, so in case this gets pushed, again, that's gonna be give, and it's gonna cause the, uh, the any kind of puncture, so it does not wanna go through into the painting area. So we go get the second box. Again, you're gonna need two boxes with this because, you know, uh, it's 27 inch each. So together you can ship something up to, you know, 30 by, easily 30 by 40 inches with the wedges in it. So that's pretty good. And you probably could go up to about even bigger, you know? They have bigger sizes than this because all you need is maybe a couple of inches overlap. Uh, to make this work. So you just pick up this edge, so I put that on the other side, and you just want to open the painting, open the box up so the painting fits inside of your box. But you just keep working it until it doesn't give anymore. That way you know that your styrofoam is flooding and it's nice and tight in there. So, what I'm doing is kind of hugging it <laughs> and getting it nice and tight. Now, that's good. So now my package is, my painting is inside the package. So now the only thing I really need to do is finish securing this up with the shipping tape. Just put the shipping information on it, and there it is. Okay, so I'd like to thank you for joining me, and this is how you get a box, get a painting ready to be shipped, boxed and shipped to your client. All right, I appreciate you coming by. Be sure to subscribe. Also share this video, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.